Do you remember back in one of our earlier videos? In fact, it was our video on variables we mentioned it, but we've mentioned it several times, and that is there are recommended naming conventions that we should be using when we are programming in Python. Yeah, it's like using great grammar when we speak or write. It's something that we should consider doing. Now, the recommendations, kind of the style guide, if you will, for your Python programming is in something called PEP-8. Let's go take a look at that. Let's make sure you can find that document. By the way, something else that came out of that document that I've mentioned to you is indentation, how we should indentate, uh, engage in indenting when it comes to our Python code. So sure enough, we're going to go to the documentation page. So I'm going to go to the documentation and notice there is this PEP index. PEP stands for Python Enhancement Proposals. And if you look in here, there is a document number eight, PEP8, and it is the style guide for Python code. Notice one of the authors is the inventor of Python. Yeah, so, wow, we should definitely give this document a look. And notice one of the things that will really help you is the table of contents. So I was talking to you about indenting, and I said there was a way to do that that is recommended, and where would that be under? That would be under code layout indentation. So you can jump right there, and this is where I taught you the four spaces per indentation level, which is the Python best practice recommendation. Now, an area in this document that is called out for us in our exam objectives is naming conventions. Yeah, and you're going to see me helping you with the different naming conventions that you should use in your code. Now, before I give you an example of that, let's take a look at all the different ways we could name stuff in Python. You could use a single lowercase letter, a uppercase letter. You can use all lowercase. You can use lowercase with underscores. And you might recognize that one as one of our best practice naming conventions. Yes, we love that for function names and also variable names. So that's where that came up. You saw me using lowercase with underscores inside of our Python code for variables. There could be uppercase in use. You could have uppercase with underscores. You could have capitalized words, often referred to as camel case. You could have mixed case, capitalized words with underscores. And uh, I believe this is the one that they call ugly in the style guide. Yeah, they literally say, try not to do this, it's ugly. There's single leading underscore, single trailing underscore, double leading underscore. I won't read them all. You get the idea. So lots of different naming conventions and this documentation that we get from Python is going to help us with when we should use a particular style. So if we go back into this document under naming conventions, notice they're going to say what kind of convention you should use for constants. They're going to say what type of naming convention you should use for various cases. So again, I would use the table of contents and function and variable names are an example and function names should be lowercase with words separated by underscores as necessary to improve readability. Variable names follow the same convention as function names. So I'll be helping you with this as we move throughout our course, but I wanted you to be aware of where these best practices when it comes to style are listed. And notice you can look them up yourself with ease and check yourself on anything like 
comments. Are you doing comments in a recommended way? Code layout. This is a document that we should be visiting consistently to make our code easy to read, easy to understand, and again, just such a great idea to follow the best practices. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you are excited for our next video where we're going to begin to get into all of the many operators inside of Python that can be used to manipulate our data. I'll see you there.